Hi, my name is Addie, and I am raising money for the four diamonds to help kids with cancer. Will you consider making a small donation to help reach my goal of $1,000? Together, we can make a difference. Thank you. That video you just saw is of my next guest, this week's hometown hero. Her name is Addie, and well, she undertook a project that many of us wouldn't undertake. Addie, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you. And this is your mom? Yes. Janice, thank you again so much. I know it was a bit of a trip, and just really appreciate you guys making the drive to be on the thank program. You, thank you so much for having us. Absolutely. We appreciate Addie, it. Can you tell us a little bit about this project? Yes. I raised money for the Four Diamonds fundraiser at my school for Minithon. The Four Diamonds help kids with cancer. And why did you decide that you wanted to do this project? I decided it because last year my stepdad Adam ran for Man of the Year for the Leukemia Lymphoma Society. Okay. And when he won, I decided to do the exact same thing. And when Minithon rolled up, I knew that was my chance to shine. Nice. So Adam is now Man of the Year? Yes. So, and Janice, I know you were involved with that as well. Can you tell us a little bit about that? And what? So um, the Leukemia Lymphoma Society does, um, in different regions, a competition, and use competition really lightly. Right. Um, it's called Man and Woman of the Year. And it's a 10-week fundraising competition. And during that time, uh, you raise as much money as possible to benefit the Leukemia Lymphoma mm -hmm. Society. Um, and we're paired up with a girl and a boy. Right. Um, and during that time, uh, Addie was very much part of our fundraising efforts and part of it along the way and just was, was uh, I think, inspired a little bit to help sure. a, a good cause. Sure. And uh, the boy and the girl of the year also both benefited from the four diamonds aspect okay. too. So it kind of all tied together. That's awesome. So, and yeah. is that why you chose four diamonds? Can you tell us why you picked four diamonds? Well, I didn't really pick it. It just rolled around. Okay. And our teacher told us a little bit about it, and I knew that was the perfect opportunity to choose that and to help kids with cancer. Can you tell us what Four Diamonds is? It's a little fundraiser for Minithon. Mm -hmm. And what's, what's Minithon? Minithon is kind of like um, big, uh, is um, kind of like Thon around mm -hmm. the United States, um, but for schools to help raise money. How did, how did you describe Minithon to me whenever you came home? What was it like? It, it was like a big pep rally. Okay. And they raise money through this pep rally? Yes. That's, and this is all the money goes to kids with cancer? Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Yep. That's it goes awesome. to um, Penn State Hershey Medical okay. Center, um, their children's uh, cancer. That's um, so cool. Yeah. So yeah. it's part of Penn State's Thon. Thon, right. Yep. For the kids. For the that's kids. The, that's the For the kids. Cry. Yep. For oh, the that's kids. That's great. And Janice, talk to me a little bit about when Addie came home. I remember seeing a post that you made on social media. It was in the fall and it was weeks before the election. Can you walk me through that process? Sure. So Addie came home and she was so excited. She's like, Mom, I have this opportunity. My school's raising money for four diamonds and I want to do it. And I said, you know, Addie, that's great. Like, I, I want to do it. And she's like, I want to raise $5,000. Said, okay, let's just get through the election. Like the election's a couple weeks away. Yeah. Let me get through the general, and then we can really sit down and we can really focus. And the next day, I'm sitting at work and I'm thinking, how selfish of me to, you know, Addie came home so motivated to step up and do this great thing to help kids, and and I basically told her, I'm too busy. I can't help you right now. So that night, I went home and I said, okay, Addie, let's sit down. Let's get a game plan. Let's put your campaign together. Let's uh, create your why statement, why you're mm -hmm. doing this, and let's record it, and I'll post it to my social media, and uh, we'll go from there, and we'll start your campaign. So that's what we did. And, so, and that's the video that of you, right, mm -hmm. talking about Four Diamonds. Yes. And so, and Janice, I think that's so incredible because we, we both do, don't work in the political arena, and I think so often you just look in society the way people, we've politicized so much of society, and there's not a lot of people I think that would do that. And so I think, Addie, I think you have an incredible role model for a mom. <laughs> yes, I do. That's very so, kind of you to say. Oh, it, it's true, <laughs> and she agrees, so we know it's true. <laughs> so Addie, can you talk to me a little bit about some of the project and some of the challenges that you may have faced, and how did you overcome those? 
I overcame the challenges. I was pretty nervous and I also and my mom also helped me through those challenges. We took it step by step and she also reminded me why I'm doing this. Yeah, you were nervous at first. You were nervous mm -hmm. to record the video and you were also nervous sometimes to pick up the phone and ask um, our friends and your family for checks. So we just kind of overcame those, right? And how did, how did we overcome those fears? Taking it step by step. Step by step and reminding, reminding yourself of why, why you're doing it, yes. which was to... Help the kids with cancer. Correct, yes. Your mom made you make phone calls? Yes. I, I'll be honest with you, I know congressional candidates, I know congressmen in Washington, D.C. that would do everything they can to avoid phone calls with donors. And so I'm sure you could tell stories about the same. I, I know a couple candidates <laughs> that don't like to make phone calls Cause. either. But uh, every time you made a phone call, what did somebody say on the other line? I'll help you. I'll help you. Oh, that's awesome. That's I'll awesome. The, and so you made these phone calls, and what was your goal? How much did you want to raise? I wanted to raise $5,000, but my mom said, let's raise 1000 and then next year we'll raise another 1000 Okay. And how much did you raise this year? Did you reach your goal? Yes. I actually reached past my goal. That's awesome. And how much did you raise? $1,000. About $1,400. Yes. And how did you do that? I picked up the phone and I was brave and I called people, but I couldn't have never done it without support with the people that helped me and especially my mom. That's awesome. And, and some, one of the things that both of you have said is about remembering why you're doing it. And mm -hmm. I can't tell you how important that is, not just knowing what you're doing, but knowing your why. And we were talking before we got on set about having those goals that you set. Mm -hmm. And I understand you've set a goal for next year already? Yes. And how much do you want to raise next year? $2,000. $2,000. Do you think you can do it? Yes, but that's because I'm starting this summer. Nice. <laughs> okay, well, when you start, you let me know and we'll help you too, okay? Okay. Awesome. Thank, thank you. you. Well, you're very, thank you. Thank you for setting the example. What, can you tell me a little bit about what you learned from the experience? I learned that you really need to dive in and help those kids that need it. Mm -hmm. and to be brave and don't stress yourself out about it. Okay. Were you stressed? A little. A little. <laughs> Are you stressed now? No. You're, you're, okay. Good. Very good. I also hear that you just had an election. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about this election? Um, this election was for the class president. I was pretty excited and we got to write three people that you want to be, that you think should be a candidate for class mm -hmm. president. So we wrote three names down and you could write your own name. And we did the draw, and then we did the drawing. And I was one of the first people to be called. And I was like pretty excited about it. And yeah, what happened with the election? I put a couple campaign posters. We gave it, and then this is also my mom's idea. <laughs> okay. I brought in cookies. <laughs> okay. And did it work? <laughs> yes. So you are now the class president? Yes, of C6. So this is technically your first televised interview as president, yes. as Madam President. Yes. Well, it's an honor to have you on the show. <laughs> um, for those who haven't seen it, this is, um, there we go, this is Addie's campaign poster. Um, incredibly professionally done. I think, uh, not sure it has anything to do with the fact that her mother works for a political strategy firm, but <laughs> it's incredibly well done. And she is now the class president, so clearly it worked and the cookies worked. You also had a pretty good platform, too. Yeah, you did a pretty good speech. Yes. Yeah, you did a very good speech, that's correct. Can you tell me about your platform? My platform. What were your ideas? Oh, yes. My ideas were. I can make the classroom better. I would stay in from recess. I'd help plan fun lessons. This is not anything that we talked about. <laughs> Probably because one reason I don't know what platform means. <laughs> well, I'm only nine. Oh, okay. Oh, leading by example. How yes. are you going to lead by example for your class? I was going 
to be responsible, kind, and honest. Don't bully and stand up for those that are being bullied. And I would promote teamwork to ensure success. I think it's an awesome platform. And that ties into what you did for Four Diamonds. Mm -hmm. It's the same, the same spirit, right? Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Exactly. Last question for you, Addie. If you have a message, you're nine years old. Yes. And you're already raising over $1,000 to help kids with cancer. If you have a message for other people your age, what would you tell them? I'd tell them, give to kids that need it most. I think that's a great message. I think it's an absolutely incredible message. And I cannot tell you how awesome it is to see what you did. Again, you're nine years old. You're raising money for kids with cancer. There's a lot of adults that don't have that kind of heart and that kind of insight to do that. And so I think it's incredible what you did. Janice, I can't say enough. I know we've talked about it before. I cannot say enough about the example that you're setting as well to say, hey, there are things in life that are more important than winning a political campaign and than, than work. Um, and being that example for Addy and setting that up, uh, I just cannot say enough about the both of you. Um, and so I would take you on any team, any time. <laughs> Thank and you. So, we would join your team anytime, so. <laughs> right? Addy, what was your, how did you close all of your um, speeches? Yeah, for Four Diamonds, whenever you would ask for money. What would you always say? I would always say together Together we can make a difference. Together we can make a difference, and that's so true. I like that. I like right. that a lot. Mm -hmm. so. Well, Addie and her mom, Janice, are hometown heroes. Together we can all make a difference. That's so true. And so, again, thank you both so much for joining us. I thank appreciate you for that. Us. Yeah. Are you ready to close? Yes. Okay. That's all the time we have tonight, and I want to again thank my special guests. Uh, Janice and Addie for being here and for the example that they're setting. I hope you'll continue this conversation with us online. You can use the hashtag face the issues and tune in again next week as we unpack another issue with another guest. My name is Sam Chen and my name is Adeline Grace and on behalf of all of us here at face the issues. Thank you and good night.